Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time, we determined that God is in everything. This time, is God everywhere? Determining whether God is everywhere isn't as simple as just saying he's in everything. As before, we need to start by pointing out what's meant by everywhere. We don't mean that God is physically in all places, as if some dimension occupied by God was physically connected to each point in our space. Instead, we mean that God is exercising creative action on every point in existence with his power and is present to each of those points in that sense. When physical things occupy space, it's impossible for other physical things to occupy the same space. But God, not being physical, isn't like that. His being in a place doesn't prevent others from being in it as well. Some people think that God, not being exclusively in any place, also can't be everywhere, in the same sense that emotion can't actually be present in only a single moment of time. At most, you'd get one part of emotion in a single moment, like a frame in an animation. However, God isn't like emotion, and he doesn't need to be stretched across multiple moments like emotion, or multiple points in space like an accordion. God isn't a physical item or phenomena like that. Instead, he's more like a common attribute, like strength. Many people can have strength all across the world, but you don't need to stretch strength across the world in order to give it to many people. God is the same way, able to be present everywhere without needing to be expanded across space or time. This also explains how God can be in many places at once, without needing to be partly in one place and partly in another place. Besides, God isn't physical and can't be divided into parts. So, it makes sense for God to be everywhere, and there just aren't any good reasons to think he isn't. Next time, is anything besides God everywhere? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.